My name is Irene Kazere and I'm coordinating the Pro Eco Organic Africa project in FIBO. Let me give a short background about the project. Ecological organic agriculture practices are increasingly being recognized within the African context for their potential to improve household food security, income and nutrition. However, context-specific information and data are still unavailable and this has led to uncertainty among some farmers, extension researchers and also policy and decision makers on the actual potential of these practices in contributing towards the welfare of our communities. The main challenge that we have is the slow use of our farms and that is why most people want to go to conventional system where you can have large acreages and have high yields. But I think that intensive cultivation and taking good care of the crops in the field, applying good agricultural practices, will be able to let us increase organic farming as well. Most of our farmers don't apply science and technology in their production system, and so they don't apply good agricultural practices. We diverted a little bit to conventional farming, but we realized that we are losing the environment, and so we have to come back. With this background, FIBO and local partners in Ghana, together with local partners in Kenya, we have developed a project to generate evidence which is authentic and context-specific for the smallholder sector in Africa. ProEco was launched at the national level in both Ghana and in Kenya in 2013. It was officiated by guests of honor from the ministries of agriculture in these two countries and more than 180 people participated in the launch, constituting more than 20 organizations. Yeah, I think Pro Eco project comes in handy. And the outcome of Pro Eco's project will guide us as a ministry, as policy makers, to be well informed as to what is happening on ground and what we have to do to be able to continually sustain organic agriculture. Of course, it's a very ambitious project uh, which is going to interview 600 farmers all at once within a season, uh, 300 farmers in a, in a humid area, and another 300 in a semi-arid area. It requires very elaborate scheme of knowing how to collect that data. After launching the project in Ghana, we organized a research methodology workshop which was aimed at uh, developing a common understanding of how the data is going to be collected in Ghana and in Kenya and ensuring that we are using the same methodology. We also combined the research methodology workshop with a field visit in Ghana and we visited cocoa producing uh, farms. We are in Apono Apono and it's uh, about uh, 60 kilometers outside Accra. The purpose of uh, this visit is to help us understand more about the production practices here in Accra and uh, the other parts of Ghana and it is uh, a way of introducing the project but for the participants to look at the characteristics of uh, the organic production and conventional production and this will help us to design the methodology for our data collection for the project. My name is Georgina Kunsin. I'm a certified organic farmer since 2003. I produce vegetables and livestock and fruits. For us as producers, our main challenge is weed control and pest control. I do a lot of research on my own to be able to control the problems that I have. Most of the time there is, um, there is no linkage between uh, research and farmers. So if we can come together and build a more practical um, research which will be applicable to every farmer, that is my expectation. 
from this project. This project will provide information in that sense that can help policymakers, practitioners and farmers develop confidence in ecological organic agriculture that can lead to integration of ecological organic agriculture into our national country plants, strategies and policies. Having an organic policy in place not only allows uh, the development of uh, specific markets at the local and region and international level, but also enables the government and uh, its supportive institutions to put in place you know, capacity building trainings for farmers to make sure that uh, they can they, they have a better understanding of organic agriculture and they can increase their productivities. We will implement the project over the next three and a half years and will regularly share the results as and when they are generated. We look forward to seeing you in one of the forums where we will share the results. And for further information, please visit our website www.proecoafrica.net.